The Duke of Sussex has called on police to investigate a tabloid newspaper after he was awarded more than $280,000 in damages in a court ruling this week. Now, a High Court judge has ruled that there had been widespread and habitual phone hacking at Mirror Group newspapers, finding multiple instances where Prince Harry had been the victim of unlawful information gathering. Prince Harry has had one of his days in court. Celebrity sports agent Sky Andrew is still waiting for his. Along with dozens of other claimants, he's yet to receive a judgment on his case against the Mirror Group newspapers, accused of using unlawful means to gather information. There are a lot of frustrated claimants out there who have been waiting to see what's going to happen. And... Um, over the past year, two years, three years, um, lots of stuff has been done in the background to bring it to this stage. Um, there were so many people who were just furious. OK, it was a good day for the claimants. Prince Harry won his case. Great. Now, each individual claimant deserves to be dealt with in the right way. But for Prince Harry, the legal fight against the tabloid press goes on. He's joined by the likes of Sir Elton John and actor Hugh Grant on two other claims. One against the publisher of the Daily Mail, the others against the publisher of The Sun and the now closed News of the World. Allegations there are much broader in terms of um, the seriousness of the, um, the way uh, it's alleged that the way uh, personal information was gathered about people, so actually bugging people's cars, bugging people's homes. And I think those claimants have every right to, uh, to see that evidence may be tested by the Crown Prosecution Service with a view to potentially bringing criminal prosecutions. The Metropolitan Police says they are giving careful consideration to Friday's judgment, but right now there is no open investigation. But some former editors believe there will be intense pressure on journalists in positions of power. There will be senior people uh, and who are still on national newspapers who will be thinking, crikey, this is not very good news for me. Um, this is another reason perhaps why the police might think, well, we, you know, we, we need to sort this out. We can't just let it let it go because a lot of these people are still in very senior positions. Prince Harry called Friday's judgment a great day for truth. But there remains many more claimants against many other newspapers who believe there is yet more truth to come. Catherine Rivertotzi, Sky News.